Hello, I am Dr. Nitin. In this video, we will see how to put a lens magnification kind of effect like this on any picture. Notice that I am using the dark grey theme or dark mode in office that reduces eye strain. To learn how to use dark mode, go to the description. I have written a blog article, read it and follow it. So let's start. I need a blank slide. Blank means blank layout. We will put a picture. So this is our starting point now. I want a zoomed version of the picture, which is bigger. So obviously we need a copy. I click on the picture and duplicate, Control D. This picture is slightly offset like this. This is the picture I just created a copy of. This is the original picture. This is the copy. I don't want to get confused with picture 10, picture 11 or whatever the name is. So I'm going to rename it. Double click there and rename. So I called it Zoom. You can give any other name. Now I want to select both the pictures and make sure they are perfectly aligned. You can do it just by dragging, but it's better to select both, control click, then go to align left, align top. Now we want the second picture or the zoomed version of the picture to be enlarged in size somehow and we want to decide which part of the picture will be visible. We want to have an effect like a lens. Lens is circular. So let's first crop the picture as a circle. If I crop it, crop to shape as a circle, it's not going to be a circle. It looks like nothing happened, but when I click on crop, notice it is showing me circle. But it's not a circle, it's an ellipse. We don't want that. So before we do that, I go to aspect ratio and say one is to one, means square aspect ratio. I say crop it to shape. Now it will be a perfect circle. Once you use crop to shape, the crop mode itself goes away. So click on the top part of crop again. Now you can see a perfect circle is the crop area. This is too big. I just want the face of the doll to be magnified. So make sure you press control key and shift key so it doesn't get distorted and resizes properly. Of course, right now it is not showing us the area of interest. Now this is a tricky part. If I drag this, the picture will move. That is not what I want. I want this box to move, so be careful. Make sure your cursor is on the border and then you can move the border. So I want to move it a little up because I want to magnify this picture. I want this overall picture to be made bigger while this circular window is visible. That is what will give the zoom effect. There is a limit to how much I can magnify the picture because my cursor will get stuck here. So first I press control and mouse wheel to zoom out. I can also zoom out from this here so that I have some more area to play with. Now make sure you press the control key again and drag so that it becomes bigger. Now maybe this is the magnification you want but the doll got displaced. When you are in crop mode, you can see a transparent version of the picture. So you'll see the base of the doll here versus here. That's not going to look natural. So now I want to move the picture horizontally, but I don't want to move the picture vertically. I want to constrain the direction of movement. That is done by pressing shift key while dragging. So press shift key and drag towards left and fit the face nicely. This looks okay. We are done with the zoom part now. So come out of crop by clicking on the crop button again. So now this is how it's going to look. But this is a lens. We want it to look like a lens a little bit. How do we do that? Simplest method I've found is to put a shadow. Usually shadow is outside, but we can also put an inner shadow. So make sure you are clicking on the zoom picture. If you are confused, Make sure you are selecting the zoom one. Then go to picture format and click on this diagonal arrow. This opens the format picture pane. Use shadow. Inside shadow, don't use these. These are outside shadows. Scroll down, you will see inside shadow or inner shadow, central. It has a nice impact. But right now the transparency is zero. The lens is transparent. There is nothing opaque in a lens really. So I'm going to increase the transparency. Let's say to 30%, 40%. You choose what you like. 
and I also want it to blur a little more. So I'm going to say 40. Now it looks nice. Finally, this is the effect we want. But what I want now is that lens should come from either right side, left side and while the lens is moving, it should zoom whatever part of the picture is below it. That will look more interesting. This is the final look I want. But where do we want to start? So let's duplicate this slide. This is the final state. This is also the final state right now. But now I can manipulate this to decide how that lens comes in. So at this stage, I'm going to zoom out a little. I click on the zoom picture. Now I don't want to move the picture. If I move the picture, it is not going to look natural. What I want to move is the part of zoom area. To do that, we need to be in zoom mode. So click on crop. Let's say I want this lens to come from the left side. So this cropped area should actually start somewhere outside the slide. And in the second slide, it will come in. Make sure you are on the border of that box. Press shift key and then drag it outside. Just outside the slide is enough. Doesn't matter what you are seeing there. It's not going to be visible anyway. Come out of crop by clicking on the crop button again. So this is the starting point. This is the ending point. Now we need that intermediate area to be animated automatically. That is done using a brilliant feature called Morph. Go to the second slide. Go to Transitions and apply Morph. By default it is 2 seconds. Now make sure you are on the first slide and then run the presentation. And this is how you get a nice lens effect. If you like this, try it out immediately. I have given the sample file in the description. Also share it with your colleagues, friends, bosses, loved ones. That's it. Thank you.